question number three. So we have been given a code snippet here. And also it says this file exists and this and this file do not exist. So it tells which files exist, which does not in the system. And then what is the result? We need to figure out the result. And it seems the program could throw no such file exception. And program could also throw file already exist exception. And otherwise, if it doesn't throw exception, then we need to pick which one of this option is true. In this one, these two files get deleted. A copy of this exists in temp and this file is deleted. All right, so let's follow line by line. So in here, uh, we are saying current file. So we are getting a variable current file of temp exam temp. We are putting it to into current file. And in the next line, we are declaring a variable output file and we are trying to get temp exam new.txt. And path directory paths dot get temp. Now we are copying the file current file into the output. So it means we are copying this temp file from this directory into output file which is this particular directory. And then we are copying output file into the directory. So now we are picking up this particular file and trying to copy it into the, that new.txt is being trying to be copied into slash tmp. And then we delete the output file, which is temp exam new.txt. So in here, we have three different uh, paths and it doesn't matter if the file exists or not. In this case, we are only telling what the path will be. So when the code reaches here, where we are copying the file, so in here, a copy of temp is made into the same directory as new.txt, so there is no problem here. In the next one, we are saying output file, so which is this newly copied file, is being copied into this directory. So in here, don't get confused with the name of the variable. So even though it says directory, for Java, it's still a path. So in this case, we wouldn't make any differentiation between a directory and a, and a file. So when we try to copy new.txt into temp, then the program will throw file already exist exception because this particular file is present in the system. So the correct answer is the program will throw file already exist exception.